I was sent this portable tire inflator and asked to give my opinion on it and make this short video. So here it goes. Show you what you get in the box. You get the tire inflator itself. It's very compact. See the dimensions here. It's only like four and a half inches by five inches. Very, very compact unit. You get an instruction manual and then you get several accessories to include a carry bag. You can put everything right in this bag. And then also a smaller zipper bag here that has a lot of the different cables and the inflation line that you need to inflate your tire. And this is a mesh bag with a zipper on it as well. So here's your inflation line. You're going to attach this into the top of the unit. It just clicks in like that. And then you're going to thread this onto your tire. Um, if it's a uh, standard Schrader valve or if you need, they also give you the adapter you need to inflate balls uh, and other smaller items like this. And then there's also a cap here that is included as well for those small bike uh, type of uh, inflation valves. You get the line here you're going to use to plug in and charge the device using that USB-C connector right here. And then also you've got an alternative way to power the compressor. If you did not have enough charge left on your battery here, you could plug this right into your car and then plug this into the unit and then you can power it that way as well um, using this plug right here. And then that, that will also power it. Some of the functions on the unit right here, you've got the power button. If you press and hold that, you're gonna, you're gonna activate the unit it's now showing me on, and now it's actually showing me the mode that it's in. It doesn't have anything indicated. It shows 100 PSI. That's a customizable mode. I could make that down to any number that I want. I'll go ahead and make it down to 90. That's my custom mode there. Press M again. It's going to shift over to the vehicle mode, and it's also got a preset. In this case, it's 36. If I wanted to change that, I could increase it, for perhaps say to 38, and it'll remember that number. And if I go to the next mode, this is for uh, ATVs and motorcycle. Uh, this here is for bicycles. And this here is for things like a ball, like a basketball or football. So only 8 PSI for that. Um, 90 is my custom. And then vehicles at 38, motorcycles at 38. So you can adjust these to what you're comfortable with, and it'll remember those, um, those amounts in the tool. Now, if you need to change this um, unit, this unit here is set right now to PSI, which is uh, pounds per square inch. If I press and hold the mode button, it's gonna shift over to using bars. And if I press and hold it again, it's gonna change as well to KPA. And then finally, there's even a fourth mode here. It's gonna be kilograms per centimeter squared. So you have all kinds of options for how you're gonna do that. And as you set this, in my case, I'll leave it on PSI. It's going to remember that, which is very helpful. Now, when you start to pump the unit, now that it's already turned on, if I press power again, the unit's going to start to pump. It's going to pump until it reaches that 90, in this case, PSI. And then it's going to shut down automatically, which is really, really convenient. Um, it also has a flashlight on the top. There's an LED light right here. And if I press this little button at the bottom, then that's going to turn on. And it's got a very bright light um, that you can use to illuminate the situation when you're trying to inflate your tire, perhaps at night, and you've got a situation where you can't see what's going on, get these valves attached, whatever. Um, you're going to be able to see with this extreme extremely bright LED light that's right on the top of the unit already built in. Quite nice. Press it again, you're gonna get some flashing. This strobe could be useful for um, getting assistance. And then press it again, it'll turn off. So all kinds of features built in with that light. Now on the unit itself, to charge it, you're gonna use that USB-C connector here and put it right in here and charge that up. Um, you can also use this alternatively to charge your phone. So if I just take this um, um, device here and plug it in this way and I've got an Android phone perhaps that uses a USB-C connector I can plug that right into my phone and I can charge it up. So I wanted to do some tests to see how this compared to another uh, compressor that's of similar size and so here's what I found out. So I ran an identical test on both of them and I found that this inflator 
was much faster, inflating the beach ball in five seconds as compared to nine. Another thing I noticed is that the screen's a lot brighter on this one here. You can see the letters really and numbers really jump out at you. Um, as well, the buttons are easier to see. So you can see the, the M plus minus and then the light button here. But with these, you really can't see what any of them are. It's very hard. You have to get very close to know that, um, you know, which one's for the mode and which one's for the light and all that. So I just find this one's a lot, lot easier to read in all lighting conditions. Here we are at my UTV, and the UTV only uses a small amount of tire pressure. It only uses eight pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my custom uh, setting to eight. And there we go. So I can see that my current pressure is just showing seven and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the power button and now it'll start up. And now it's got to eight and it stopped. And one thing to remember is, whenever you're using a tire compressor like this, it's gonna get hot. This line where the pressure air is pushing through will get hot. So be careful when you're disconnecting this so that you don't get burned. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. Hope this information was useful to you. And as always, hope you have a great day.